Hello, I'm Pastor Jermaine. And I'm Pastor Alicia. And we want to thank you for tuning in to another edition of Lift, yes. Life Inspiration for today. Our subject today is Settle Down and Rise Up. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> for all my parents out there, I'm sure you've used that one a time or two. You know, when your kids are freaking out about something simple, but it's, it's major to them, you know there's a simple solution for it. But no matter how simple the solution is, they, you know, they cannot benefit from it right. until they're calm enough to actually hear what you have to say. Right. So before you can even give them instruction, yeah. you got to first say something like, honey, baby, settle down. Settle down. It's going to be okay. And then once they calm down enough, you can then provide them the answer to their dilemma. I'm sure God sees us like that. Oh, absolutely. Every I know now, he does. Man. I've been like that once or twice. Yeah, me too. 15 million times <laughs> in my life. <laughs> me too, me too. Praise God. <laughs> but here's the thing. If we are going to be believers, we're going to call ourselves believers. Right, right. We cannot be people who freak out every time the wind blows. That's so true, Pastor Jermaine. But can't we say freak out? Freak out. I don't see a problem with freak out. Okay. Do not freak don't out. Don't freak out. Got Just it. settle down in faith. Don't settle down. Out. Don't Got freak it. out. You know, panic is really an, uh, an indicator of a sign of doubt. Yeah. And when panic is present, when it shows up, what it really means is that fear has set in. Yeah. Matthew 14, 29b says, And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. Now, we're not picking on Peter today no, at we're all. Not. The way I see it, he was the only one right. that had the boldness enough to even ask Jesus Peter to get the out hero. the boat, yeah. let alone take a step on the water. Right. So, he was a hero. Mm -hmm. But we can learn from his error. Right. Here he is already walking on the water. Mm -hmm. He's already a walking miracle. Right. And instead of being settled in his faith, he allows the circumstances around him to cause him to waver mm -hmm. and ultimately sink. That's good. Well, we just want to encourage you today. Yeah. Whatever it is that's causing you to sink back into the things that you once conquered in this life, mm -hmm. whatever it is that's causing you to consider throwing in the towel, yeah. now is not the time to give up. Mm -hmm. Now is the time for you to settle down in your faith. Look, Nehemiah was given a directive from God mm -hmm. to rebuild the wall in Jerusalem. The tricky part, though, is that he had enemies mm -hmm. all around him. Yeah. But Nehemiah had already seen the hand of God mm -hmm. move before. Yeah. And he had settled in his heart that he would see God's hand move again. Nehemiah 2.17 says... Then said I unto them, You see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lies in waste, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. He says, Come, and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem, that we be no more a reproach. Even in the midst, and I love Nehemiah, I love that whole story, yeah. even in the midst of such great danger, yeah. Nehemiah says, now is not the time to panic. Mm -hmm. Now is the time to settle down in our faith yeah. and rise up. Yeah. Obviously, the cause alone wasn't enough of a catalyst to stir up the faith of those people. Mm -hmm. So we see Nehemiah sweetening the pot a little bit in verse 18. Yeah. And he says, Then I told them of the hand of my God, my God, which was good upon me, and also the king's word that he had spoken unto me. And they said, Let us rise up and build. Yeah. So they strengthened their hands for this great work, this good work. Settling down in faith inspires not only you, yeah. but also the people around you you that God is calling to help you the people saw his faith yeah they saw the hand of God mm -hmm. moving in his life mm -hmm. and then they saw the favor that he had that's right and it, it ignited their faith mm -hmm. to, to rise up yeah. and build mm -hmm. and a wall that was in ruins for years and years was rebuilt in 52 days amazing <laughs> my God <laughs> praise the Lord Simply amazing. God is so awesome so this week I want you to settle down. Mm -hmm. Settle down in faith. Amen. Just settle down. It's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Settle down in faith. Mm -hmm. Seek God for the plan that will get you from where you are now to where you're believing God to be. And when you get the plan, get settled in the plan. All you have to do then 
is rise to the challenge. Just rise to the challenge. You can do it. Thanks again. This is Pastor Jermaine. And Pastor Alicia. We'll see you next week with another inspiring word. Be sure to tune in to next week's lift. It's going to give you the lift that you need to enjoy your week. God bless you. God bless you. Love you so much.